beware just decided to put the shit out. And y'all know the history. The, the, quality, the quality was terrible. But if you listen to the songs are great. The but songs like you on said, there, the quality was such a disappointment to hear the quality of the album. But Stevie was doing what? Producing or just engineering? No, just using well, it, it, right? it, it was Stevie's. It was, it was Stevie B Studio. Uh, he had Toga. I don't know if you ever heard. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know Toga. Toga, Toga was in there artist. with us. Um, By the way, that's the second part of this documentary. is freestyle. Oh, okay. So go ahead. Um, um, Stevie. Uh, Toga was in the studio with us, but it was basically their studio. Um, everything was being produced by me and Cooley. Um, but the studio was inaccessible. We, we couldn't get in there to do anything. You know, Stevie time. B hit the road and that was it. He's the engineer. I mean, Stevie B was... Stevie B is a really good engineer. Is he? See, that's what a lot of people don't understand. That maybe that um, this whole phase is happening. Danny D, how does he come into the play? Danny came into the to the play. Um, <laughs> this is what <laughs> the whole beware thing. Well, thing it, going on. Danny had a lot to do with with, with me and Cooley break, breaking up. <clears throat> because, wow, that's news. Um, Danny was with this this group at Twin Lakes High. Mm -hmm called the Ice Cold Crew, which was part of my crew. They they were actually they were all part of me. Mm -hmm. And Cooley had his own thing going and me and Cooley were recording and I had Tojo and, and I had a whole bunch of other cats with me at the time. All of a sudden Danny and Cooley hook up and um they come to me to uh to to do the song. They couldn't come up with a track and um, I came up with the, the That's the Way I Like It song. And um, B Way was like, yo, man, we get, we, you know, we got we got to have more artists than you and him, this, that, and the other. So we, we we did the Danny D song, and that blew too. That, that his song was it, was, it was, it was strong at the time. And, um, and it was a white boy rapper. I had a problem with that, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Here we go because that honestly, I mean, no, I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, rap, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't have a problem. That a question? No, 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 no. Question. I didn't. I didn't have a problem with a white boy rapper. I had a problem with um, you putting somebody on before me and you even got to where we need to be. My, my whole thing was it's about me and Cooley, and once we start selling like two live crew, then okay, then we can have a library. But Cooley was like, yo, I want to put him on. I want to put Splat Pack on. I want to put this one. You know, I want to I want to write and produce it. And it was like, yo, dog, we're not even selling shit yet. You know what I mean? So it, it wasn't so much it was a white boy, but the white boy factor amplified it for me. So do you think he, he was trying to take a backstage at that time, promote shit? Like he, he stopped being an artist and wanted to be a... Uh, uh... No, I think, I think Cooley was on... Um... Do you know what I'm saying? I think Cooley, I think Cooley was being, I think Cooley at that point was being more of a businessman than I was. Right. Because me. That's what I'm saying. Just You got to understand, I grew up in Brooklyn. I grew up with Jewish, Hispanic, Korean, mm -hmm. Filipino, Italian, everybody. I know the difference between everybody's culture. Mm -hmm. It's not that I was prejudiced, mm -hmm. but at the time. There were no white people doing music that was being accepted in the black community. Right. So I'm like, yo, I'm trying to get us on. Right. You know what I mean? How is this going to sell? I'm thinking, how is this going to sell? Now, the ironic thing is Danny D will tell you if you, have, if you ever talk to him in an interview. Him. Me and Danny D were really good friends. Mm -hmm. Me and Danny D were better friends than Cooley. Mm -hmm. We lived in Royal Palm together. We hung out together. I knew his father, his mother. I ate over there. He ate over there. You know what right. I mean? But my thing was, yo, man, I want KJ and Cooley C to break it. solidified and solid first. So then Cooley starts working with David Noah. Um, with, um, Dynamics. Dynamics 2. And once again, I, I was like, you know, why are you in the studio with them doing shit and, and performing on their records? And you know what I mean? So I bounced. That's how I ended up with Foresight. I told Cooley and C and Beware, bam, I'm out. 
I went to Foresight and uh, need to. So you, 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 at that time, you, you did feel some animosity <coughs> um, in between you guys because of what was going on. There was a lot of animosity. I mean, check and who. Could. And I'm like, yo, I, I came to Cooley. I was like, yo, man, let's go to Foresight. And Cooley was like, no, I'm staying with Beware. I'm not switching anymore. So I was like, yo, I'm bouncing. So I went down there and, um, you know, got into got into let's get this party started and um, you know doing tracks for for ADE and Jiggle Tony and um, Shadi actually was still there at the time. Um, Before he did the album, Blue, gotta be talking right, about it. Okay. right. Um, so I I end up down there and um, Tuggy Rock. AKA, AKA Tucky Rock, AKA, oh. known as. I don't know what his other name. Brain is. Damage. Right, right. <laughs> I call him Tucky Rock. Okay. Um, he uh, comes down to the studio with me, and I'm, you know, he's he's, he's in the studio. It's me, Frank Cornelius, and Jig, and AD, and I'm playing his Get Retarded track. And uh, I didn't have no lyrics to go with it. It's just a track, mm -hmm. you know. Bump, bump, bump. Yeah, who created those orchestra badges? I did all that. Dun, Tuggy dun. Rock came up with the "Hey, you all, let's get retarded now that the party started." Okay. And I was like, "That's it." And we we did that record, man. We probably did that record in twenty minutes. I mean, after he, after the hook, it was like twenty minutes. It it was, it was done. And um, you know that's just that record took off. That's just history. 